Je m'appelle Glaston. Aujourd'hui, nous avons autre leçon à apprendre. Today, we have another lesson to learn. It's all about the definite article, de. For French, we have different ways of what using each of the definite article. So when we look at the board, we have their spelling as the heading. We have le, la, el apostle, et le. So the one we read, we have four aspects. Le, la, el apostle, et le. And they all mean de. And as I said, they are all definite articles. Now, l'emploi de la, <coughs> le, elle apostle le. L'emploi de uses of, or use of. So, la, le, elle apostle and le. Now, let's see how we can use each of the four properly. Here, we have some examples here to help you or to guide you understand when to use le or la or elle apostle or le. So let's come to the board. We have le garçon. Le garçon est beau. Le portable m'appartient. Le portable m'appartient. La porte est large. La porte est large. La fille est belle. La fille est belle. L'imprimante, l'imprimante, l'université, l'université, l'idée, l'idée, les élèves, les élèves, les femmes vont au marché, les femmes vont au marché, les cahiers sont dans mon sac, les cahiers sont dans mon sac. La table est longue. La table est longue. L'homme va au travail. L'homme va au travail. Here, you observe that before the word, you have the article starting. Then the gender is written in brackets. So, garçon, for example, you have the bracket M, meaning what? Masculine. Okay? If it is F, it's feminine. So, you observe that when le is applied in the sentence, it tells you that le is used before the masculine singular noun in French. Is that understood? Good. Now, when we come to where la is used or written in the space, it also tells you that la is used before a feminine noun in French. And when we come to where an apostle is written in the space, that also tells you that an apostle is used before <coughs> any French word begin with a vowel or mute H. In another way, silent H. And when we come to where LE is written, it tells you that LE is used before in a French plural noun. Now I think you get the key to use le, la, elle apostrophe le properly. Good. If that is the issue, now let's go to B and test your mind or your knowledge and see how best you can, I mean, fill the following uh, blank spaces. So here we have. Complete the blank spaces provided with le, la, or elle apostrophe, or le. So I give you some few seconds. Number one, dash enfant s'amuse. Dash enfant s'amuse. Why do you think would be there? Mm -hmm. Okay, now check if your answer is correct. It is what? L'enfant. L'enfant s'amuse. Because what? Enfant is masculine singular and begin with the vowel E. Let's go to two. Dash animal saute. Dash animal saute. So here, what do you think? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so the answer is L. L apostrophe. So l'animal. So masculine singular beginning with the vowel A. We have l'animal. Then the third one, dash église. Dash église. What do you put there? Église. It's family singular. So what do you write there? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if you are right. We have here église. Les églises, because église is plural. So, les églises. Eh? Churches. Alright, let's come to four. Tire livre. Tire livre. What do you write? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see whether you are right. We have le livre. So, the textbooks, le livre. And we come to five. Dash valise. Valise. Briefcase. So, dash valise. What do you write? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We have la valise, the briefcase. La valise. Then you have number six, dash tax. Dash tax. Drinking cup. So, what do you write there? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see whether your answer is correct. So, we have la tasse. La tasse. The cup or the drinking cup. Then we come to eight. Dash animal. Mm -hmm. What do you write there? Dash animal. Okay, let's see whether you got it correct. Mm -hmm. It will be less animal. Les animaux, because animaux there is masculine plural. So you have les animaux. The last number eight, dash professor. Dash professor. What do you write? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. The answer is le professor. Right? So check the number correct you have over eight. You have six over eight. It is good. You have done well. So, make sure you subscribe this lesson, then you use the different articles properly anytime you want to. Au revoir et à la prochaine fois.